Perspective is simply the way something looks from a particular position, from a particular viewpoint. The perspective that we see this building in will change if I were to move my position up the street or closer to the buildings or further to the left. It all depends on my position when I'm looking at the buildings. Fortunately, it follows certain principles. And if we understand these principles, it can make it much easier for us to draw buildings accurately. Why not just draw what we see? Well, we could. And yet, the way our drawings often look show that that's not always as easy as it sounds. If I understand perspective, it becomes a tool to help me observe what I'm seeing more carefully. It alerts me what to expect in my drawing. And therefore, it helps me see the things I need to see more easily. And if I can see things more easily and accurately, I can draw them more easily and accurately. It's certainly worth a little bit of effort with perspective. So in this video, we're looking at how perspective works when we look at a building from a corner, such as in this view. Here's a corner of this building. Here's a corner of this building. How does perspective work in this situation? Well, we'll start with a simpler version than this Vienna street scene. As always, the first thing to do is to consider the eye level. The eye level is, as it says, the level of our eyes in the scene. We'll put our building corner here. And now we'll draw the sight lines to the eye level that our building will follow. Now, of course, our building doesn't go this far. We're going to put the other walls in for our building. And so we'll go there and here. And if we wanted to put some windows in, then we need to understand that those windows will follow the same perspective lines. Where these sight lines of our building meet is called the vanishing point. And the vanishing point is always on the eye level. On this side, we might want to put some windows as well. But we'll also put a door in. Any architectural elements that align horizontally on our building will follow the same perspective sight line to the eye level and join the vanishing point. Now, because this viewpoint where we're looking at the corner of a building gives us two vanishing points, it's called two point perspective. One point perspective, if you've seen my earlier video, is where we look at a building straight on but slightly to one side and the perspective only goes off to one side and that's one point perspective. But when we look at the corner, we get two vanishing points and that's two point perspective. So how does this look in real life rather than just this little schematic diagram? Here we have Germany's National Gallery in Berlin. Now the first thing with any scene is to find the eye level. And we can see that regardless of whether the people are close or further away, their heads are all in the same place. And this always works for people who are on the same level of ground. So because the ground is flat and because I'm on the same ground level as they are, my eye level and their eye level is all roughly in the same place. Let's look at the obvious perspective on this side of the building and we can see if we line up the perspective line here with the top of the roof, we can see it follows this angle. And if we look at this perspective line here at the bottom of the colonnade, we can see the perspective lines meet on the eye level. These windows meet at the same place. There is a perspective line here that also meets there. So in fact, we can see all the perspective lines that we see meet in the same place. But what we also see is that as they get further away from the eye level, the angle increases. Now that's a very important pattern when we're drawing. What I like to do is to draw the most extreme of the perspective lines very carefully. And then I know that the lines in between, the angle has to keep increasing or decreasing with each line. If a line doesn't fit into the pattern, easily, I know it's in the wrong place. Now this is two point perspective, of course. What about the other perspective? Well, the other vanishing point, we'll just put our corner of the building in here. 
and we'll check out how it works here. We can see straight away, in fact, that the vanishing point on this side of the building is going to be much further away. In fact, way off the paper, way out of camera line than for the other side of the building. And the reason for that is the greater the angle of the side of the building we're looking at, the steeper the perspective lines will be. So this side is turned away from us much more than this side. This side is angled away from us not as much. And so the perspective angles on this side will be a lot less extreme than they are on this side. So the angle of the perspective tells us something about the angle that the two walls are. And again, if we don't get the angles right, it won't connect properly. It won't look like it's a rectangular shape. And that's one of the reasons why it's important to angle our perspective lines properly if we want the box of the building to look like a rectangle. And although we can't actually go to the vanishing point, you can see, I trust, how all of these lines would go to the vanishing point. And also how we're not just talking about the lines of the building, we're talking about all the lines. So these footpath lines here, this gutter that we have here, we can see that it also, that perspective also follows through to the same vanishing point. So the vanishing points are important for all the elements in our illustration on the same plane. But what about two point perspective when our building isn't just a simple box? Let's say we had, say, a portico in the center. So here's the corner of our portico. If we take this line and this line back to the vanishing points, and then we just take them a bit further out, we can find easily enough where the corner of the portico will be. And if then we link up those corners with eye level, with the vanishing point at eye level on the other side, we can see where that portico lines up. Understanding the principles of perspective help us make sure that this line and this line all angle properly. Same principle if we wanted to make this side of the building a bit shorter and have a structure this same side protrude from the other side of the building it would be following these same perspective lines and that would show us where we could put that. Understanding the principles of two-point perspective can help us with more complex buildings as well because all of the various planes all go back to the same two vanishing points. But again, how does this look in real life? We're looking at the Berlin Opera House. And again, the important thing to do first is to find eye level. And we can see this lady here who's actually closest to us. We can see there's some, a couple of people over here who are a bit closer. And we can see there's some people right over here in the distance and, and that all their heads are roughly on the same level. And we can see that we have our main perspective line coming at this angle. And if we were to look at all these perspective lines here, we can see that they would all meet at the same point, although it's well to the right of the camera. And it's important to see that architectural elements that align on the same horizontal line, they also follow the same perspective line. These windows here and these windows here all line up together. If we go to the left-hand side vanishing point, the building on this side is angled away more steeply to us. So on the left hand side, the vanishing point is closer to the building. It's still off the page, but we can see the lines are steeper and therefore the vanishing point is closer to our object. It's important to see as well that for this section here, from the corner, this small part, they go to the right hand vanishing point. The vanishing point that this long line goes to is the same vanishing point that this short horizontal line has to go to as well. The final thing to make really clear is that once we have the eye level established, every perspective line above the eye level increases and every perspective line below the eye level 
increases in the opposite direction and they all converge at the one point. Above the eye level, the angles increase. Below the eye level, the angles increase. And that happens regardless of which vanishing point the perspective lines are going to. Getting that pattern right goes a long way towards making our drawings look right. Hi there, I'm Stephen Travers. It's important to remember that perspective is just a word to describe how we see something. But because the way we see certain objects changes in predictable ways, if we understand how those changes happen, it can help us see them more easily in our reference photos or in life. And seeing them more easily, we can draw them more accurately. So it's really worth paying attention to the patterns of perspective. So really, when we draw, perspective just adds to the fun. I'll see you next time.